children program here uh, at the center every Sunday. And um, the reason why we established this children program is uh, due to the aspiration of our children. May all living beings have the sky have happiness and what makes them happy. May they be free from suffering and what makes them suffer. May they have joys for others and themselves. May they be at peace in balance, free from vice and despise. We have a program uh, that is uh, start with prayers, aspirations, uh, then mindful chanting and uh, short meditation. And we also tell each other stories from life of a Buddha or stories told by Buddha in a uh, long time ago. All of those we find in this literature. We have students from a variety of ages, from 5 up to 11, 12, you know, teenagers. They are from different cultures, different uh, educational backgrounds. The underlying purpose of the program is to have the children learn Buddhist values and to practice them in their daily life. So it's very important that they integrate the values so that uh, when we tell a story there's always a moral value involved and that moral value is something we discuss, uh, what it means, what it means to them, how do they practice it at home and at school with their friends or wherever they are. And, um, and what challenges they might have, why it's difficult maybe to practice the value and what they can do to overcome that challenge. In addition, um, we do uh, questions after the story and we um, involve them in the Dharma discussion so that they can give examples or they can give ideas and so forth so that it's really something that they are part of. They're not just being preached at, but they're, they're interested in, in the program themselves. Later on, as they grow up, they will uh, become stronger and, um, and they'll be able to handle many, many stress and be calm and patient. So that was our purpose. The components that we include um, include a meditation, and the meditation we might focus in the meditation on, a, on that particular value, like if it's compassion, then we might have a meditation that is uh, relevant to compassion. And we try to keep the meditation interesting so that they are enjoying it, so it's not something that's a chore that they have to sit still and that's boring. We want to try to make it so that it involves visualization or involves mindfulness and that way they can develop those skills of concentration and mindfulness in a way that's enjoyable to them. My name is Chosam. I like Dharma class because we get to do art, we get to ring the bell, and the teacher tells us stories, and stories about the Buddha. And, uh, yeah.
My name is Anne, and the reason why I like this uh, class is because we get to learn about the Buddha and have some fun while Miss Lisa tells stories. We get to learn about the morals of the stories, and we also get to meet new friends, and at the end of the class, we have uh, this activities which relates to the story that the teachers tell for us. We do some mindful walking. Um, we took a walk today outside and we were hanging prayer flags and this is something that we are teaching them to uh, what's the meaning of the prayer flags and what we're supposed to be thinking and then also just walking mindfully when we're all walking single file quietly and absorbing what we're hearing, what we're feeling, what we're sensing. So these are things that we also want them to practice. We want to make sure that they have a firm foundation in Buddhism so that when they're older, they have this, um, this basic uh, good values and good practices so that they can get into advanced practices when they're older. We were very fortunate to have uh, many helps from wonderful teachers such as Lisa and Alex and uh, other board members in the beginning how to uh, set out a program, a, a logistic uh, a project. Um, we also have other activities like arts and crafts and finishing everything with dedication prayers.